All right, here with Sean Porter at the uh, the media room here for Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. First of all, you surprised this fight finally got made after all these years of talking? No, I'm not surprised that it got made. I'm happy that it got made, and I think that um, I the boxing world is in for a treat. Uh, the Porter Way podcast is, is in for a treat. Um, everyone will benefit from this sport, uh, from this moment that uh, these fighters are about to have. Why is it so hard for these these fights to be made the last 10, 15 years or so? You know, it just takes time. You know, uh, a lot of the fighters, you hear them talk about the business of boxing. We never really say exactly what that is. But essentially, it just takes time for a fighter to get to a certain point in his career. It happens that these fighters made it there at the exact same time. Their, their audience is relatively at the same level. I mean, like across the board, everything is where it needs to be. I think if, if, if anything, you kind of look at the competition that Ryan has and you say, oh, he, doesn't, he hasn't had the kind of competition that Tank has. He's not ready. I personally don't agree with that. I think that across the board, everything is where it needs yeah. to be. And then the business itself, meaning the promoters, were able to get together and make it happen. You got to understand that there's just, there's only but so much money that can go around. And that's why we don't see this enough. Well, with this fight, this case, with these fighters having the kind of uh, presence that they have in the, in the world of entertainment, everybody can get some money off of this one, you know? And I'm not making it all about money, but when it comes down to it is that's why a lot of these fights are made because you can't share networks, you can't share revenue and the list goes on. But with this one, it's big enough for everyone. Do you think maybe Floyd's a little bit to blame too? Like back in the day, you know, all the guys fight each other. Floyd <laughs> made the, the oh so important. So these guys are afraid to, uh, to maybe take that challenge. I think if anything that, that we're coming into a, a new season, a new era, um, a new generation and it is changing. Yeah. Is this fight going to have something to do with that? With these guys already? Oh, fighting? absolutely. Absolutely. I think take a look at Tiafimo Lopez getting in the ring with uh, Vasily Lomachenko a few years ago. I mean, I think that that kind of really set it off. You take a look at the fact that Sean Porter got in the ring with virtually everybody. I kind of feel like I had a reason or I had a, a place in really getting it going, you know, letting, it, letting everyone know that, hey, you know, it's not about wins and losses. It's about great performances and entertaining people, you know, and I think fighters are starting to learn just now that they're entertainers. They're not just fighters, you know. But well, so. maybe a little bit of difference here is, is Tiafimo, even though he was destined for greatness, he was kind of on the way up, so it made sense for him to take a chance. And you, once you got the first loss, you, you had a loss, so yeah. you, you want, you know, you're willing to take that chance yeah. the next uh, time, so. I, you know, there are all chances. At the end of the day, there are all chances. You could have a you could have a camp where everything went great, but you didn't eat right, and you damaged your liver. You never knew it, and then you get in the ring, and something happens to your liver while you're in the ring. I mean, they're all chances. Yes, of course, some chances are bigger than others, you know. But in my case, I think that I took chance after chance, and a lot of fighters just either don't have the ability to do that. I was just blessed, right person at the right time, where it was. I had the, the right pickings, you know what I mean? Like everybody was under the right umbrella for me and the list goes on, man. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a special case for the sake of words, you know? But I just think that a lot of fighters are, are gonna be willing to take more chances. They'll see the fruits of their labor through this fight with the win and the loss and they'll understand that hey, you know, when I get in the ring against the best, people are gonna turn up and, and they're gonna see me and I'm gonna do my thing. I know we won't ask for a prediction, but what does each guy have to do? Is it, does it come down to basically the, the volume of, of Ryan versus the, you know, the big shot of Tank, or as long as Ryan can avoid that big shot, maybe he outworks Tank? Or how I, do think, you see? I think both guys have the ability to, to outwork one another. Both guys have the ability to punch one another and knock them out. Um, I think it's just a matter, this fight is just a matter of who's on their P's and Q's at the right moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's a really good fight. All right, well, we look forward to it. Uh, plug your podcast. What do we got? So The Portaway Podcast, YouTube. I always tell you, watching on YouTube is a, it's a hell of a show on YouTube, but it's on all the podcasting platforms. If you're at work and you need to sneak and listen to something, you're working on your car and you, and you want to hear something while you're working, you can listen to our podcast. It's entertaining. It's informative. It's motivational. And um, everybody enjoys it. So God bless you guys. I right, appreciate it, Sean. You Thanks. got it. Don't cut that part.